Hello everyone and welcome to VizIQ Virtual Classroom tutorial. In this video, we will learn how we can use and utilize the features of Virtual Classroom to deliver more effective online classes. As you can see, this is an online virtual classroom which uh, allows you to communicate with your students using audio and video devices. As you can see, if you are streaming your video devices, you will be able to see your video you know, streaming here. And underneath the video, you will have the chat box to communicate with your students on the initial stages. When students enter the session, they will not have any audio or video devices uh, or controls. So you can communicate with them uh, through the chat box. And later on, if you wish, you can also give them the audio video controls and they will be able to communicate with uh, you using audio and video devices. Now, if you wish to communicate with uh, any of your students uh, through a private messages, you can uh, click on the private message tab and uh, click on create a private room and select the student who you would like to have a, a private chat with. So it's entirely up to you, whichever student you will pick, you will be able to send a private message to that student. And whenever you want, you can come back and join the class conversation by clicking on the class conversation tab here. So on top of the virtual classroom, we have this record button that uh, is blinking right now. That means the recording is in progress. And if you wish to pause or resume this, you can click on this uh, tab any particular area of the virtual classroom that you do not wish to record you just pause it and resume it whenever you're ready right next to that you have your uh, device controls so you can actually mute and unmute your microphone anytime you want if you wish you can uh, start and stop your video camera anytime you want so it's entirely up to you next to that we have timer that gives you the timing information of the session what uh, uh, is the total duration of the class when it is started uh, you know how much time is elapsed if you wish you can extend the class from within this window and if you wish you can end the class before time as well now next to that we have a uh, poll feature now poll feature gives you the feasibility to ask your students a random question all you need to do is click on the polling tab that will give you the option to create a poll when you click on the new poll tab that will give you the option to create the question so you can go ahead and you can start typing and uh, you know create a question that you wish to ask your students provide multiple options by default there are two options given but if you wish you can uh, you know definitely have uh, more options added to it so once it is done you can go ahead and you can you know create these options and click on the save button now when you save it it will be saved for you to use it later on in the session but if you wish to publish it instantly just click on the publish button and that will publish this question to your students and they can respond according to their best knowledge at any time if you would like to end it just simply click on the X button and that will end the poll for you now moving on to the next thing that we have here is the layout change option first thing about the layout is that we have different layouts for the virtual classroom now if you go and click on the layout change button once it will take you to a full screen presentation mode where your presentation will cover the entire area so that gives you a little more space uh, to work on your presentation and explain uh, it more effectively it will hide out all the chat box and, and video windows and everything else now but yes if you wish to bring it up anytime you can go ahead and you can click on these tabs and you can bring your attendees list and your chat box by simply clicking on them now we have different layouts when I said uh, different layouts you can click on this tab again and that will take you to an audio video conferencing mode where if you have given audio video controls to your uh, students you will be able to see them on the full screen so you will be able to see them and they will be able to see you and at any time if you would like to you know switch the screens all you need to do is just click on the screen that you want to be on the main screen and the other one on the smaller screens underneath now apart from that if you click on this layout button again let's suppose if you have multiple uh, you know students participating and if you want everybody to be uh, on the screen in the same size if you click on the layout change button again it will rearrange everything in a tile view so you will be able to have uh, somewhere around six video feeds fitted in the same window apart from that if you click on the layout change button again it will restore it to the default layout now once you do that next to the layout change button we have screen share option that actually allows you to share your screen with your students and once the screen is shared you can go ahead and you can minimize your virtual classroom and go to whichever screen software or any third party website so wherever you will go your students your participants will be able to see it and in order to share the screen all you need to do is click on the screen share button that will give you the option whether you want to share the entire screen or if there are other applications open like Skype or another uh, browser so if that is the case you select the application and only that particular application will be shared 
if you choose entire screen the entire screen will be shared and all you need to do after that is after selecting click on the share button so once the screen is shared you will have the screen share button turned into red flash button so at any time you wish to stop it all you need to do is click on the stop screen share button and it will stop the screen share now next to that we have a people tab that is your attendees list so if you wish uh, to see the number of participants the icon itself that will give you the total number of uh, participants in the class but if you would like to see who they are just click on the people tab and that will give you the list of people who are participating in the session and you can give them audio video and writing controls by clicking on these icons in front of them if you want to enable these whiteboard tools uh, to your students just give them uh, just click on the pencil icon in front of their name and they will be able to utilize all the tools on their end so this is how you can uh, see your attendees and manage your attendees in the virtual classroom next to that we have uh, notification tab now on the student side there will be a a raise hand option which will be located right next to the timer tab students can click on that and send a quick small question to the teachers uh, during the sessions so if that is the case the teacher will see and receive the notifications here and when they click on uh, this bell icon that will give them the list of all the raise hands and all the questions that they have sent alongside with the raise hand all you need to do is just select the name of the student and that will show you the question of that particular uh, student now next thing that we're going to talk about is the content uploading now in order to upload uh, content in the virtual classroom it is very simple procedure now firstly you have different types of content that you can use first is YouTube now when we uh, want to use a media file directly that you wish to play from YouTube all you need to do is click on the YouTube button paste the URL of that YouTube video and click on the tick button and that's all you need to do copy paste and play and your YouTube video will start streaming now moving on to the next thing if you wish you can also utilize the whiteboard tool so uh, if you click on the whiteboard that will open a new whiteboard and you can add any number of whiteboards and you can add you know play any number of YouTube videos and everything basic you know uh, tools that are available with the whiteboard is like your color, common color grade you can choose the color that you wish to use pen has different strokes pen brush and highlighter which is thicker than the other respectively we have multiple shapes starting from basic you know square circles triangles and going into smileys and block arrows and grids and plenty of other shapes that are there you can go ahead and you can utilize them and and explore them now next to that is the transform button transform button basically is your selection tool any object that you will be uh, creating on the whiteboard you can go ahead and you can use the transform button and you can select it and then you can uh, rotate it and uh, you know manage the way you want it so however you want you can actually go and you can do that next to that we have uh, drag tool the hand button is your drag tool you can actually move your content up and down so if that is the case if this is what you want you can definitely go and you can work with it now next to that is your eraser tool you can go ahead and click on the eraser tab and then you can either go and uh, erase whatever you want that you have created on the whiteboard or if you want to delete uh, the object permanently all you need to do is press shift and hold and then click on the object and that object will be gone from the whiteboard moving on to, to the next tool that we have is the TT stands for text if you wish you can use your keyboard uh, to you know communicate with your students on the whiteboard annotate on top of your uh, presentation or whatever you will do you can uh, go ahead and you can write and type on the virtual classroom here now next to that is the camera icon uh, that that is uh, for you to upload your images all you need to do is click on the camera icon and that will give you the option to browse through your hard drive just simply select the image that you wish to upload and click on open button that will process the image and that will be added in the virtual classroom now underneath that you have undo's and redo's any action that you have taken on the whiteboard you can undo it and redo it anytime moving on to the next thing is the media player now media player only plays the content that you have uploaded in your content library so all the media files that you have uploaded be it be audio or video files they will be listed in the media player right here and all you need to do to play these videos is just simply select the file now when you select the file it will quickly buffer it and once the buffering is done it will start streaming your uh, content right here so as you can see this content has started playing now next thing that we have here is content now content gives you the feasibility to upload your content directly from desktop as well as to access your content that has already been uploaded in your content library prior to the session so in order to access your files directly from uh, 
desktop, all you need to do is click on the choose a file button, select the file that you wish to upload and then click on the open button and that will add your content into the virtual classroom. Now apart from that, if you have already uploaded your content in the content library, all the content that you have uploaded will be listed here and you can select the content and that will give you a quick preview of that content just to make sure that this is the same content this is the same document that you wish to share click on the share button right next to the preview and when you click on that this presentation will be added into the virtual classroom last but not the least thing that we have is the code editor now in case if you're into programming if you have uh, you know if you want to teach coding how to code this code editor will be a very useful tool for you now in order to do that you can simply start uh, writing the codes you know from the very beginning or if you have uh, worked on a on a code uh, you know previously you can also open them and it's the same procedure you click on the open button will give you the option to browse through your hard drive you can upload the file you know uh, you can upload the .js files and likewise if you have started working on it you know you have opened the code and then you have made changes to it in that case you can also uh, you know save uh, the changes that you have made so simply click on the save tab and that will save the changes now you always have uh, different languages that you can choose from that is JavaScript HTML and CSS for now and you also have undo's and redo's in this option different uh, color schemes are there themes that you can choose from and then definitely the text size if you wish to increase the size of the text that you're uh, coding in so you can go ahead and you can increase the size of the text now moving on to the last thing that we have is the option for you to save your progress all you need to do is click on the save to PDF tab in order to save the work that you have done on your documents that you have utilized in the virtual classroom like if you have uploaded a PowerPoint presentation and if you have annotated and marked out things and highlighted things so if you want to save the entire work that you have done you can click on the save to PDF tab now when you click on the save to PDF tab it will give you the list of all the documents as well as the whiteboards it will not give you the option uh, to save your YouTube or uh, your media player or your code editor but yes any document that can be PowerPoint presentations PDF files Word documents as well as your uh, whiteboard so as you can see it gives you the option to just save everything now if you want everything to be clubbed together and saved as one PDF file you can just confirm it as it is but if you want to save every document individually all you need to do is select the document and then click on the confirm button so that particular document will be downloaded and will be saved as a PDF file with all the work that you have done on that during the session so these are the tools and the features that we have in our VizIQ's virtual classroom that you can use and utilize to deliver more effective online sessions so if you have any further questions any further queries please do not hesitate to send us an email at support at vizIQ.com we are a 24 by 7 support team and we'll be more than happy to assist you in any way possible. Thank you very much and you have a wonderful day. Bye for now.